All bulls are big. That's kind of a defining trait of the animal. But some are so huge, it will truly, profoundly shock you. For real. When you see these big, beefy boys, you won't believe how chunky they are. These are abnormally large bulls that actually exist. Number 15. Parthenae As beautiful as they are big, the Parthenae is certainly a cattle breed that stands out. They originate in France and are thought to be one of the oldest French bulls in existence. Cows were often used for their milk production, while bulls had the size and strength for draft work. Today, many farmers love the Parthenay breed for their carcass yield, delicate bone structure, and beef tenderness. It also doesn't hurt that they are quite a beautiful cattle species, with lovely reddish buckskin with dark brown coloring and hints of black around the eyes, ears, jaw, and neck. When you can look past their striking color scheme, you'll also see just how massive the bulls can get. They can weigh as much as 1,250 kilograms and even at birth, a whopping 40 44 kilograms. They're poor mothers. Just like the Belgian Blue, they have double muscling, which gives them a high muscle to bone ratio. Although they are nowhere near as muscular as the Belgian Blue. Because the cows are fertile and give birth with general ease, not to mention how hardy the breed is, they're a popular option for many farmers. The cows also have excellent maternal qualities and high milk production. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Texas Longhorn Farmers looking for a tough, hardy, beautiful, and adaptable bull for the challenging conditions of the western U.S. would look at the Texas Longhorn. This massive bull has evolved to live happily in trying North American conditions and is preferred by many farmers. While they're not among the largest bulls, they are still massive. They grow up to around 5 feet tall and can weigh as much as 2,200 pounds. Let's not forget about their horns, either. They can be anywhere from 5 to 8 feet from tip to tip. There are many reasons why farmers prefer the Texas Longhorn, apart from their size. You can breed from them from as young as 9 months old, and they are known to be gentle and docile when handled by humans often. This breed is also available in a wide variety of colors throughout Canada and the United States, and they are incredibly fertile. Some farmers are put off breeding them because of their long horns, but there's no denying these gentle giants are a joy to have around. Number 13. Brahmin Bull If you were to ever spot a Brahmin Bull sauntering down your local street, you'd probably freeze on the spot in fear. This bull breed is enormous and is a popular option for farmers across the United States, Brazil, and Australia. from 1,600 to 2,200 pounds, while cows, in comparison, will only weigh in at around 1,400 at most. Surprisingly, when these bulls are born, they only weigh around 65 pounds, though they quickly grow into their bodies before your very eyes. Brahmin cattle were named after the Brahmins, which are Hindu priests. They are an American breed of Zebuan beef cattle, but originate from India. They are known for their parasite resistance and high tolerance to sunlight, heat and humidity. The parasite resistance is thought to come from the oils they can secrete from their sweat glands, something quite rare in cattle. They're basically an all-around desirable bull. They're also very easy to spot by their beautiful coloring, which varies from light gray through to red, then almost black, as well as the huge hump they have on the top of their neck and shoulders. Number 12. Kia Nina. Given that the Kianina breed of bull once set a world record for cattle weight, you just know they are abnormally large. This beautiful white breed is the largest in the world and has existed for centuries. I love them. 
In fact, they were thought to exist during Roman times. Kianina can stand at around 175 centimeters at the withers, or 68 inches, and weigh as much as 2,800 pounds. Although, in 1955, a Kianina bull called Donetto tipped the scales at 3,836 pounds and broke the world record for cattle weight. Even though this breed has a massive body and long legs, their horns are relatively short. This probably suits suits farmers quite well who wouldn't want to try and manage both their weight and long horns. They have a small, fine head, pronounced crest, and long body. When they give birth, their calves can weigh as much as 110 pounds. In the early days, Kianina bulls and cows were favored for their draft qualities. They had a lovely temperament and were easy to manage. Now though, they're preferred for their beef and are mostly kept indoors until the day comes to a, well, you know. Number 11. Glan Bull the Glan Bull originates from the Brown Swiss and is a type of cattle developed around the 18th century. Since Glan cattle came to exist in Germany, they were used for both milk and meat. They aren't the largest of cattle, but they aren't exactly small either. Bulls can grow up to around 55 inches at the withers and weigh about 2,200 pounds. All that weight makes them an ideal meat cattle. In saying that, the cows are even tempered enough for dairy and produce almost 4,450 liters of milk each lactation, so it's no wonder they can be such a desirable farm animal to own. They are powerful, hardy, and adapt well to native climates. They also make a desirable draft animal if you lack the machinery to carry out farming operations. Glan cattle used to exist in large numbers in Germany. It wasn't uncommon to find herds of up to 40,000, although because they tend to take quite a long time to fatten and mature, they are one of the least popular options around the world. In fact, they are bordering on becoming extinct. Number 10. South Devon Farmers looking for a docile, fast-growing, and hardy bull would probably end up looking in the direction of the South Devon bull. This massive yet well-mannered bull is one that captures the attention of breeders and farmers alike. South Devon cattle come from southwest England but were exported to North America and even used in the Napoleonic Wars to help the Royal Navy. They were well established by 1800 for drafting their meat and their milk. They have beautiful, strong, curly coats, light red coloring, and pink noses and muzzles. They are also easily identifiable by their thick, loose skin and large, muscular frame. Given that bulls weigh up to about 1,500 kilograms, they are incredibly large. Let's not forget strong, either, because farmers tend to use them for work from around 15 months to 12 years. Fortunately, they are the gentle giants of the bull world, so aren't too challenging to work with. Even though South Devon bulls are desirable, so are cows. They mature early at around around two years old and can go into calf yearly for up to 15 years. Twins exist in about 10% of South Devon births. Number 9. Red Pole the Red Pole doesn't even have to try and be big, he just is, even though he was bred as a dual-purpose bull rather than for his size. Red Pole cattle were bred for both meat and milk and were popular options in Norfolk and Suffolk of England. Though, because of their small horns and gigantic carcass, they became popular in many parts of England. They were then imported to the United States in 1873. The first red poles to arrive on North American shores were three heifers and a single bull. More bulls and heifers followed just a few years later. In total, around 300 red pole made their way into North America, where it became an established breed throughout the US and Canada. These deep red beauties have many desirable traits, aside from the fact that the bulls are huge. They require little extra food aside from what they graze, and they are hardy in most temperatures. The cows are also excellent mothers, and the bulls are naturally pulled. They are such a superior all-around breed that they are now prevalent in New Zealand, South Africa, and Europe. Number 8. Holstein Friesian 
One of the most popular cattle breeds in the world is the Holstein Friesian. Both bulls and cows are incredibly desirable, and they can be found throughout the world for their dairy and meat. In fact, at least 150 countries farm this particular breed. Plenty stands out about Holstein Frisians. They have black and white coats, but can also be red and white, and the cows are known as the world's highest production dairy animals. Though, that's to take nothing away from the bulls. They stand out in their own right for being huge. They can weigh around 2,000 pounds and stand up to 6 feet tall. They were first introduced from Europe into the U.S. in 1621, when Dutch farmers settled along Mohawk and Hudson Valley rivers. Many people believe they may have wanted cattle from their native land, then crossed them with what was available in the U.S. <laughs> Though the first recorded imports were about a century later, when Holland Land Company brought over two bulls and six cows. A settler described them as being the size of oxen, with clear black and white in large patches and very handsome. Just look at them, they are handsome. Number 7 Belgian Blue. When you see a Belgian blue bull for the first time, you may wonder whether it's been genetically modified in some way, or whether it hits the gym and takes performance-enhancing drugs. Surprisingly, these muscular creatures are 100% natural, but were well and truly given the DNA short straw. They have a mutation called double muscling. This comes about because they lack a protein that usually regulates muscle growth. To give you some science speak, their GDF8 DNA is different from other bulls. They are often selected with this mutation because they're bigger animals, which means more meat. Unfortunately, this comes at a high cost for the bulls. Tanto passo a Una macchinaria. Their large size makes them susceptible to health problems like joint problems and cardiorespiratory challenges. They also struggle to give birth naturally, which means most Belgian blue births are carried out by C-section. The breed came from Belgium in the 19th century by crossing a shorthorn breed from the UK with a local species. They were then used as dairy and beef cattle and made their way to the US in 1978. Number 6 Limousin Limousin is a French beef cattle breed that comes from the Marsh and Limousin regions of France. While their massive size made them ideal as a draft animal, they are more commonly reared today for their beef. Even though numbers declined throughout the 21st century, they are now the second most popular beef breed in France, next to the Charolais. Limousin are also found in around 80 countries around the world. That might surprise you, but there are plenty of desirable features of both the males and the females. Bulls can weigh as much as 1,300 kilograms, while cows tip the scales at about 850 kilograms. They are also incredibly tall at between one 135 to 155 centimeters in height. They vary in color from golden red to light wheat, and their temperament is being improved over time. While limousin bulls are not the easiest to handle, genetic measures are being taken to improve their docility. Gene sharing across countries has been incredibly popular for decades. Bull semen was first made available in the U.S. in 1969, but bull and semen exchanges now take place in many European countries. Number 5. Galloway Just looking at a Galloway bull, it's easy to fear them. They are so big and muscly that you might think they would be an aggressive bull you'd have to run away from. That's actually not the case. This deep, thick, and long bull is actually gentle. If you own any and they're familiar with you, you would even get away with patting them. According to a cattle writer and veterinary surgeon, William Uot, Galloway cattle are generally docile. He even went on to say that it would be incredibly rare to find an angry Galloway bull. 
that's not all they have going for them either. The bulls are incredibly fertile and seem to thrive in harsh environments and tricky terrain. They have stout, strong legs and amazingly hard hooves to navigate all manner of surfaces. Aside from their heft and strength, farmers also adore Galloway bulls for the calves they produce. Cows are able to birth their calves relatively quickly, and survival rates are high compared to some other breeds. The resultant calves are fast-growing, not to mention adorable. Number 4. Simmental You'll be forgiven for not hearing about the cattle breed known as Simmental. Even though it's been around for a while now, it hasn't been all that well known. However, many farmers swear by Simmentals for a variety of reasons. An Irish farmer, Richard Brown from Calafi in County Town, has used Simmental bulls for the last 10 years. He purchased his first stock bull around 2010 and hasn't looked back. He said they provide easy calving and were known for a maternal and terminal trait. They also grow fast, which means he was able to sell them at around 3 weeks of age for nearly 350 bucks per head. Surprisingly, even though many people people haven't heard of Simmental bulls, they are among the most popular European beef breeds. They mature faster than traditional British breeds and have now been widely distributed around the world. There are around 40 million Simmentals in existence. They come in a range of colors, are pulled and horned, and can have solid colored or white faces. If you know cattle, you'll definitely notice a Simmental bull in a crowd. They have excellent muscling and can grow up to 160 centimeters tall. Number 3. Charolais Charolais are white cattle with pink muzzles, long bodies, pale hooves, and massive heft. The French were looking for a type of livestock that would be large, muscly, and strong for draft power. From these features, the beautiful and massive Charolais was born. Charolais originally came from West Central and Southeastern France. They were developed from the cattle in the area and could have existed as far back as 878 AD. Although it was only after the Second World War that this breed came into its own. Both bulls and cows were exported to Brazil, South Africa, and Argentina. Word got out, and I'm not surprised about why Charolais became such a popular breed. They have medium to large frames, broad and deep bodies, and excellent muscling and conformity. They also calve with ease, eat whatever you give them, and grow incredibly quickly. Mature bulls can weigh over 2,000 pounds, but it's not uncommon for some to reach 2,500 pounds. Even cows can grow quite hefty, with some reaching weights of between 1,250 and 2,000 pounds. Bulls can sometimes be aggressive, but they're usually relatively easy to handle and have an even temper. Number 2. Angus Weighing up to 1,870 pounds, the Angus Bull is no small fry. He's muscly, massive, and stands out from the crowd. Angus are a Scottish breed that can be red or black, though their native color is black. They are the most common beef cattle breed in the U.S. and the second most popular overall. Surprisingly, this cattle breed has been around since the 16th century, after records were found in Scotland. William McCombie, an MP for South Aberdeenshire, was known as the father of the breed after dabbling in stock improvements to bring it to fruition. By the 20th century, they were commonplace throughout the British Isles. Even though Angus bulls are not among the absolute largest, they do have great muscle content. Their meat also has impressive marbling qualities, making it an expensive cut to buy at your local butcher. In saying that, it's one of the most popular meat options at McDonald's in the US, Australia, and even New Zealand. As far as temperaments go, Angus bulls are very calm. This attribute, partnered with their profitability and resilience, makes them a must-have on any beef farm. Number 1. Pinscower Animals that are useful for more than one purpose are normally in quite high demand. That used to be the case for the Pinsgauer, which is a triple-purpose cattle breed from Salzburg, Austria. 
Even though it is now endangered, farmers around the world still use them for meat, drafting, and milk. The Pinsgauer is chestnut brown and white, and dates back to around 1846. By the 19th century, this cattle breed was being used to work on farms while also providing milk and meat. Both bulls and cows were incredibly muscly and large. Cows could grow up to around 650 kilograms and 138 centimeters high, while bulls were in excess of 1,000 kilograms and 147 centimeters tall. They were usually horned, but some subtypes with no horns also exist. By 2001, only around 36,000 Pinsgauer bulls and cows existed in Germany, and about 1.3 million throughout the world the population continues to decrease at a rate of about 10% every year. One of the theories behind their popularity decline is thought to relate to milk production. By crossbreeding Pinsgauers with other cattle breeds like Red Holstein, farmers can increase their milk performance. Well, there you have it, folks. These are some bulky bulls. We all know how large cows can get, but seeing a bull next to them makes them look tiny. Have you seen a massive bull in person? What did you think of it? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.